Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are fine. So guys, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press bell icon so that whenever I upload new video, you will receive notification. So let's start. So, so friends, today I got for repair. Uh, this is uh, ZX A1 uh, two-way loudspeaker system, 800 watts. This is EV Electro Wise Company. This one is the model. So as you have seen, ZX A1 Electro Wise Company. This is a powered PA speaker system, two-way active speaker system. So the problem in this is. So let's connect the power. I'll put the power first. Connect the mains. We'll connect it to the main. So guys, I just want to show you the power, input power is coming, see it's 230 volts, so we will connect this one, it's off, so no power my friends, so let's check why, why there is no power on this one, so keep watching my video guys, we will open it, so I already removed from the system so i have already disconnected we'll just remove this one out so oh my god see guys this is very badly damaged one is the ic link ic see you can see see guys see the there is a uh i see very badly damaged see you can see it is a link switch ic uh, it's the energy efficient offline switcher IC it is see this one I just show you. see this one this IC is very badly damaged you can see see so we'll replace it one we'll find out the number of number of it this IC first Guys, we need to replace this IC. The number of this IC is LNK309. I think so. We need to check it out. I'm sure, but we need to check. So, we replace this damaged IC with the new one. This is the link uh, switch IC. So, we'll replace this IC. The number of this IC, guys, LNK302. LNK302. So, we replace this damaged IC with the new one. So to replace this faulty IC, we'll take it out this board from the cab, this uh, assembly. We'll take it out this board completely outside. Take this out. Heat sink. We'll take all the heat sink and remove screws. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. Four, five screws are there. We'll remove and this will come out. So guys, I have already some screws over here also. Take it this out. Now <clears throat> push this little upside so it will come out. Okay guys. So guys remove this one also. Now this will come out. Yes. So we have removed so because we need to change this IC link switch IC it's number. I'll just show you. the number of this link switch is 302 LNK 302GN. So we'll replace this one. So keep this all aside. So we'll focus on this PCB only. because we work on this PC so to replace this IC we was to replace this IC friends we need to remove this PF so that it is easy to work on this IC so we'll remove this uh, uh, this PF this capacitor PF this is a capacitor so we'll replace this one so we need to remove this capacitor to work on this IC so guys to work on this I have removed this one because it is easy 
to make place to work to replace this IC I have removed the capacitor so we'll fix it back again so now we can see see this is damaged this is link uh, switch IC Hey guys, we'll take it out this one completely. So guys, we'll take it out. Out slowly, slowly take it out because this is. See. We'll just clean this everything as you have seen. We we'll clean this. We'll replace this damage I see with the new one. This is the. So, link switch I see. So, this is the offline switcher I see. So, link switch I see also just called. So, we we'll replace the IC number LNK302GN. Okay, guys. So, we'll solder it now here as you can see so we will solder it so like this we will solder it so guys we will solder this one so be careful take care this side also be careful should not short anywhere so guys now our IC is sold perfectly so fix the new IC now we fix this capacitor which we have removed before and we'll start Power supply so this back also as you've seen that we have already replaced the uh, uh, link switch ic uh, lnk302 it's also called offline switcher ic this one as you have seen so now i already fixed it back because we need to connect all heat sink and everything that's why otherwise the mosfet will get overheated uh, that's why and also we have already connected the speaker wire because i don't have a connector so i will solder the speaker just for checking purpose so i will connect it to the power now so we will connect it to the power and we will switch it on this one we will connect it to the power now ok guys so I will put it on ok I will put it on see power is on now ok now we will put input we will give the input I will connect my mobile I will connect it XLR so I have already put the XLR see guys working so guys it's working fine so guys it's working fine so thank you very much for watching my video like it share it and see you soon in next video thanks take care bye